Hello children and welcome back to mathematics class for class 8. We will continue with the exercise. Uh, the question where we left off was the last uh, question that we did was from exercise 12.1. Uh, the question we did was on question number 6, evaluate. So we will start with a new question that is question number <coughs> 7. And this question says simplify. Simplify in normal words will sim means making it simple, all right? Making this, uh, making it simple. So the first question is 25 into t to the power minus 4 by 5 to the power minus 3 into 10 into t to the power minus 8, where t is not equal to 0. That means t is not equal to 0. t can be any other number but 0, okay? It will not be zero. So, to begin with, let's look at the first question. This 25 into t to the power minus 4, this 25 I can write as 5 into 5, all right? Into this t to the power minus 4, I will write, write as it is. 5 to the power minus 3, I will keep as it is. And this 10, I will change it to 5 into 2 into t to the power minus 8. It will be as it is, okay? So, <coughs> this I can write as 5 to the power 2, all right? 2 fives, so to the power 2 into t to the power minus 4, divide by. Here we have 5 to the power minus 3 into 5 into 2 into t to the power minus 8. So, if we move on, start calculating. Here we have only 5 to the power 2, so I will keep it as it is, 5 to the power 2 into t to the power minus 4. And since we have 5s here, I will do this first, 3 plus 1, only one power, uh, sorry, only one 5 here, so the power will be 1 into 2 into t to the power minus 8, okay? So I have 5 to the power 2 into t to the power minus 4 by 5 minus plus, so I will subtract 3 minus 1 is 2. 3 is bigger and it is minus, so I will put minus into 2 into t to the power minus 8. Now if you look at this expression, you can see that these two base are same. So I will write the same base. This is divide, so subtract 2 minus minus 2, okay, 2 minus, uh, sorry, 2 minus minus 2 into this t, all right, t minus 4 minus minus 8, because it is divide minus minus 8, and we have this 2, divide by 2, all right, no common base on top, so we'll keep it as it is, this will become 5, 2 minus into minus plus 2, into t minus 4 minus and minus plus 8 by 2. This will come as 5 to the power 4 into t to the power minus and plus, so we'll subtract 8 minus 4 is 4. This is plus 8, so I will write plus 4 by 2. So, when we multiply 5 to the power 4, it means 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 into t to the power 4 by 2. So, 5 into 5 is 25. Again, we have to multiply 5, 5, 5, 25, 125. Again, 1, 2, 3, 4. Four times, so 5 into 5 is 25. 5 to 10, 11, 12, 5 to 5, 6. So when we multiply 5 4 times, we get 625 by 2 into t to the power 4. So we can keep it like this. So this is your final answer for question 7, 1. 3 to the power minus 5 into 10 to the power minus 5 into 125 by... 5 to the power minus 7 into 6 to the power minus 5. 
So, if you look at this, you have 3, 10, 125, 5, 6. All of them are different, but these numbers can be broken down, okay? So let's go one by one. 3 to the power minus 5, these 3 cannot be broken down anymore, so I will keep as it is. This can be broken down into 5 into 10. 5 into 10, uh, sorry, 5 into 2. 5 into 2 is 10 to the power minus 5, okay? And this, 125 can be written as 5 into 5 into 5, all right? By 5 to the power minus 7 into 3 into 2. 3 into 2 is 6 minus 5, all right? Now let's look at the next. Now this, both of them have to the power minus 5, so I will separate them. 5 to the power minus 5 into 2 to the power minus 5 into 1, 2, 3. So I can write like this. Similarly for this, 5 to the power minus 7, this is... 3 to the power minus 5 into 2 to the power minus 5. All right? So let's move to the next part. So we have here, we will combine these two first. 3 to the power minus 5, I will keep as it is. 2 to the power minus 5, I will keep as it is. These two, I will join common base and multiply so at the exponents. So 5 to the power minus 7, 3 to the power minus 5, 2 to the power minus 5. All right? So this will come 3 to the power minus 5 into 2 to the power minus 5 into 5. 5 minus and plus, so subtract. 5 minus 3 is 2. 5 is bigger and it is minus, so it will be minus. So 5 to the power minus 7 into 3 to the power minus 5, 2 to the power minus 5. Now if you look at this, 3, 3, same, and divide, so 3 minus 5, divide, so subtract the exponent into 2. Same, minus 5, minus, minus 5, into 5, minus 2, minus, minus 7. this year 5 minus 2 minus minus 7 okay so this will be written as 3 minus 5 plus 5 into 2 minus 5 plus 5 into 5 minus 2 plus 7 so your answers you will get as both minus and plus so 3 to the power 0 to the power 0, minus and minus, uh, minus 5 plus 5 is 0, into 5 to the power plus 5, all right? So this 3 to the power 0 is 1, 2 to the power 0 is 1, 5 to the power 5, all right? So continuation for that, we have 5 to the power 5, which is nothing but 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 into 5. Five times. So if you multiply this, you should get the answer 3125. All right? So with this, we come to the end of this exercise. Exercise 12.1. Let's move on to the, the new exercise. The next exercise is quite simple. <coughs> so... Exercise 12.2, page number 200, question number one. So this is all about standard form. Express the following numbers in standard form. So the number given is 0. Point, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right. So this is the number given, and we are supposed to change it to standard form. All right. So we already count the places.
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. See, we want to take only one decimal place. Uh, sorry, only one place on the left side of the decimal. So we will count only till 8, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12. So what I will do is I'm going to write like this, 8.5, okay? I'm, so that's why we counted only till here. In 2, we counted how many places? 12 places, right? So we counted 12 place, divide by 12. I'm sorry. This, I will just, we will just do directly. So we have 8.5 in 2. Now we have, we have counted till 12, so I will write 12 here. But this decimal point is being moved to the right. So I will write minus, okay? Minus. So your answer will be 8.5 into 10 raised to the power minus 12. Let's do the next one. 0 0.1234 four five six seven eight nine ten eleven one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven nine four two so here also similar same thing i want till nine my answer should be nine point four two so i will count only till here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so i will write ten to the power minus 12 okay similarly for the next question question number three we have six zero two one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So we have thirteen zeros, but I want point over here. I just want a point like this. Okay? If here in this place we can see no point here, that means the decimal point is here. So by moving all these places I have to come here. We have 13 zeros, 14, 15. So what I did is I multiplied 10 raised to the power 15. Okay? So when I multiply 10 raised to the power 15, I get this number. All right? Similarly, for question, let's do for 5. 3, 1, 8, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So since I want it here, 3.186 into 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10. All right? So this is how you will put the decimal point for the standard form. All right? Let's move on to the next question. Question number two. Express the following numbers in usual form. In usual form. So we have 3.02 into 10 to the power minus 6. So this is given to us. We will change this 3.02 by 10 to the power minus 6. This can be written as 3.02 sorry, 10 to the power 6 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay? So if I write this, I have to count the places now. 0 0.1234567 and 6, 2. So this is the usual form. Back to the previous question, similar to the previous question. We have changed from this form, the standard form, to the usual form. All right? Similarly, for question two. 
4.5 into 10 raised to the power 4. So this I can write as 4.5 by, sorry, 4.5 into 1, 2, 3, 4. So when you multiply this, when you multiply this, you will write like this. I want to remove this point, so I will write 45 into 1000. So to remove this point, I'm moving to the right, I divide by 10. So I get 45 into 10 to the power 4 minus 1. Only one power and four power. So my answer will be 45 into 10 to the power 3. So I'm getting 45,000. Okay. So this is answer for question number two. Let's look at question number three. One, two, three. We have 3 into 10 to the power minus 8. So, now this I can write as 3 into, I can change to divide. Because of this minus, I will write like this. And this, I will write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so this 8, I will count the places. And then I will write this. 0 point, since it is divide, the decimal point will come first, and there are 8, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 should be with 3, okay? Is this clear? So there are 8 places, and then we will write 3, okay? Question 4, 1.0. 0, 1 into 10 to the power 9. So this <coughs> I can write as 1 0, 0, 0, 1 into 10 to the power 9. Divide by 1, 2, 3, 4. I move the point 4 places, so 3, 4. So this can be written as 1001 0, 0, 0, 1 into 10 to the power 9 by 10 to the power 4. So 1001 0, 0, 0, 1 into 10 to the power 9 minus 4. I have 0, 0, 001 into 10 to the power 5. That means if I multiply this, I will get 1001 0, 0, 0, 1 and 5 zeros. 1, 2, Three, four, five. All right. So this is all about <coughs> the exercise twelve point two. We have left a few questions uh, for you to solve at home. And if you have any difficulty, please go back to the introduction video where everything, every concept has been explained properly. So please try to practice all this at home and study well. Do your best. With this, we come to the end of this chapter, chapter 12, Exponents and Powers. So I wish you all the best. Please study hard, do well, and I will see you very soon next time. Thank you.